Thank you so much for joining the On-Bill Financing webinar today. I'm Katrina Hertz, a Program Manager for the Energy Efficiency Loan Program. And I'll begin our session today by introducing the folks helping us through the webinar. We have Bob Gregler from AFC First, the Business Development Manager, who will be, be delivering our training today. We have Erin Lavoie from Clear Results. She is a Trade Ally Liaison. We also have Mike King, an Energy Efficiency Program Manager with NICOR Gas. And we have Jared Kane from AFC First, assisting us with IT support. Now, if you have questions throughout the webinar, please feel free to type them in your chat box, and Bob will be sure to read them out loud for the group at the end of the webinar. So I'll start by giving a quick overview of our program and what the goals are, and then I will turn it over to Erin Lavoie. So many of us may not know that Senate Bill 2350 was signed into law by Governor Pat Quinn in August 2013. This date marked the start of a 120-day countdown to our program launch for January 1st, 2014. Now, the law allows for $2.5 million to be accessible to customers for energy saving improvements within their home. The loans are fixed rate and unsecured and will become available to the public on January 1st, 2014. On-bill financing, also known as the Energy Efficiency Loan Program, is a way for customers to finance energy efficient improvements within their home. The monthly installments appear on the customer's natural gas bill each month, and payments uh, to repay the loan are submitted to, the, to NICOR Gas by the customer. So what are our program goals? Well, we'd like to lend out the entire $2.5 million of loans to our customers. We really want to see customers take advantage of our program uh, for their energy savings improvements. We want to make sure that customers who participate in the Energy Efficiency Loan Program are applying for and receiving their rebates. Um, On-bill financing is designed to help make the energy savings decision easier for customers. And of course, we want to try to achieve an even distribution of residential, multifamily, and commercial loans. So I'll turn it over to Erin Lavoie from Clear Result to take it from here. Thanks, Katrina. Um, I'm Erin Lavoie. I work for Clear Result. We implement the HVAC rebate program on behalf of NICOR Gas. Just a quick reminder to make sure your customers are still applying for and receiving those rebates especially if you're a member of our contractor circle, the best way you can use the energy efficiency loan program with your customers is to go ahead and give them the instant discount on their rebate, um, deducting that total rebate amount from the invoice, and have your customers apply for the financing for the remainder, um, for the remainder of the job. So for furnaces, the rebates are between two and $400, $100 for water heaters, uh, between three and four hundred dollars for boilers. The complete system replacement, that joint program with ComEd for air conditioners and furnaces, between seven hundred and a thousand dollars. Value packages between one thousand and three thousand. Then for our home energy savings contractors, you can have air sealing and insulation as an instant discount. And just a reminder, there will just be one application for the complete system replacement and value package program. So customers who have both NICOR and ComEd to supply once for both the rebate and for the energy efficiency loan. If you have any questions about how the rebate program is going to work along with your energy efficiency loan program, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'll turn it over to Bob from AFC First. We'll go over the Energy Efficiency Loan Program with you. Thanks, Erin. Uh, I'm Bob Gregler with AFC First, um, and I will be talking about the nuts and bolts of the NICOR gas uh, on-bill program and also be giving you some sales tips. So it'll be a, uh, well, two points to my presentation here. Uh, a little bit about AFC First. Hi, I'm Peter Kreisa, Chairman and CEO of AFC First Financial Corporation. We're excited to be rolling out the NICOR gas portion of the Illinois Energy Efficiency On-Bill Loan Program. It's a great tool to help trade allies and contractors 
make energy efficiency affordable for your customers. Our AFC First team stands by ready to help you integrate this into your sales process. Helping contractors promote energy efficiency to their consumers and making it affordable is AFC First's primary business. We were founded in 1947 and our complete focus since 1999 has been assisting high quality contractors and motivated consumers to affordably install energy related home improvements. We have about 5,000 approved contractors as well as manufacturers, utility and state and municipal partners across the country. We're involved in green energy training, marketing support and energy education and we were the nation's first non-utility private home performance with Energy Start sponsored by the USDOE. The Illinois Energy Efficiency Loan Program is an important piece of our program list and we look forward to helping you integrate it into your business. So what I'm going to really try to impress upon you guys is the importance of offering low rate, low monthly payments um, and month, to put a monthly payment on all of your proposals and we'll get into that uh, when I do the sales part of the presentation. Just a little overview of what qualifies for this program, uh, air sealing and insulation natural gas furnaces and boilers, uh, natural gas water heaters, and then some other energy saving improvements that we'll talk about as well. But for those of you who are familiar with the people the North Shore program, this program is a lot more expansive. For that program right now, you can only um, get natural gas furnaces of 92% and or above. That's the only thing that qualifies for that program. Uh, NICOR has a lot more going on uh, for it right now. A little bit of background as part of the Illinois Energy Efficiency Loan Program on bill financing. As I've said, we've got uh, programs with ComEd, Peoples, North Shore, um, Ameren. Um, and I'll, I'll make this a point later, but if you're signed up for us with any of those programs right now, you don't need to re-sign up for us. Um, you're good to go and offer the NICOR program. It's supported by NICOR Gas and their service area, um, administered by us, AFC First. The um, work is only for approved contractors. Again, if you're signed up with us, you're good to go. If not, uh, a couple slides down, I'll talk about how to get signed up with us. And approved contractors are also eligible to offer our uh, energy loan program. I look at it as mainly as a backup program. Uh, it is not nearly as good. The rates are not nearly as good as what we have with the NICOR program. But if somewhat something may not qualify for that program, one of your customers, you, you are able to offer that program. But we'll talk a little bit about that then. So just, just to get in your mind to think about this, the million dollar question, so which do you think sounds better to a prospective buyer? Okay, so your system's going to cost you $5,000 or, hey, I need $7,000 for this. Or, you, you know what, this is going to cost you a total of $9,000. Or, you know, this is going to cost you $53 a month and it's going to be on your uh, NICOR bill. Um, as I use as an example, I, I always ask, how many of you spent uh, seven or eight thousand or ten thousand dollars on your cell phone? And the answer is, if you think about it, pretty much all of you. But they sell it in terms of monthly payments. Of course, they can tell you project what you're going to pay for it, but they never do because uh, <laughs> everyone would pretty much scream if they realized that's how much they're going to pay. Um, but even you know, think about fifty-three dollars a month for for a furnace or boiler or something to heat your home is probably less than most people's cell phone bills. So again, I'll try to impress upon you the importance of using a monthly payment uh, quote for every proposal that you do. Um, a lot of you may be familiar with uh, credit card or promotional finance programs. Um, those are typically your 0% programs, and I'm not going to tell you to not use them. They are valuable for some customers, but for most customers, they're not. If the customer cannot pay it off in the six months or year term, that's when the interest becomes, you know, 14%. 20%, 29%, whatever, and it's often retroactive on the original balance, which which makes it uh, you know not a good option for most people. The other um, two other things about it: uh, one, as you can see, the minimum monthly payments are higher early on. That's because credit cards have a certain percentage of the original balance uh, that um, you must pay, and obviously the original or the balance is higher in the beginning. Um, so whether that's 2%, 2.5%, 3%. So you can see a big difference. If people don't have that disposable cash, you know, that's another reason the credit card programs may not be for them. The other side is, and we'll talk about this then, is, of course, credit card, you know, if you're working with GE or Wells Fargo, they're, they're charging a certain percentage to use them. So, if you, you know, something like 4%, 5 6 7 maybe higher percent. So on a $10,000 job, you know, if it's 5%, you're paying $500. You know, can you compete with... Uh, 
um, you know, the people you're competing against who are offering this program who don't have to, you know, add the extra $500 to make up for that, you know, can you compete with them? You know, that's a question that you have to answer. We, we always say, you know, we've always promoted using all financing programs, but, you know, we think we've got a really good one and, and, and probably the best program for, for the majority of your customers. So a little bit about this program. It's 4.99% unsecured fixed rate financing. That rate will not change when they're locked in. And 4.99% for an unsecured loan is very, very, very good, especially for one up to 10 years. You're not going to find something like that out there. 4.99% is you're looking at uh, home equity loans. Home equity loans may be a little bit lower, but uh, you know not everyone can get a home equity loan. You know, a lot, not a lot of people like to lean on their home, and um, you know they take long to get. Uh, these loans are from $500 to $20,000. 100% financing is available. The customer can put down if they want, um, you know, or they they can if they qualify, they can uh, you, uh, finance the entire amount. Again, no home equity is required, which is a good thing because a lot of people don't have it. Um, and new homeowners are okay for this program. Again, no fees to the consumer or to you guys. Um, we'll never ask you to pay for this program. And the customer has the choice of the three, five, or ten-year term. Um, and uh, I, I am going to emphasize to you the 10-year term to quote that. It's a lower monthly payment. It sounds a lot better. Um, but you, just so you know, the customer does have the option if they want to um, be locked into a, a shorter term, they can. And then work must be done by an approved contractor. So who is eligible? Um, so customers who are named on an I-Core gas bill who, uh, one, own a single-family home, condo, multifamily building with no more than four units. So this is, I, I want to emphasize that this is a residential program. It's not a commercial. Um, we're looking at a commercial program coming out perhaps around uh, February of next year. Um, but this is strictly residential. And uh, are installing a qualifying improvement in that property. We talked a little bit about, uh, in general, what's going to qualify a couple screens. Um, in a couple screens, we'll talk about the specifics. And meet uh, AFC First and Program Credit Guidelines. In general, those guidelines are a 640 credit score or above, a debt to gross income ratio of 50% or below, and no bankruptcies in the past seven years. So 640 credit score, it's not um, insanely low, but it is lower than the average credit score in America, which right now I think it's uh, 678, I believe. So we're a little bit lower than that. A debt to income ratio of 50% or below is very generous. If you go for a home equity loan, you know, uh, depending on the bank, they'll, they'll start looking at 35%. They might go up to 40, 45% at the gross income ratio. They will not go higher than 45%. So 50% is pretty generous. And then, of course, no bankruptcies past seven years. So what improvements qualify? Um, I'm not going to read through all of this, but... Um, you know, we can send this out to you, and of course, we'll have it on our website and brochures. But uh, you can see what qualifies for the furnaces and boilers, the gas, uh, water heaters, the air sealing and insulation. Um, you can see what AFUE ratings uh, you, you need for that, and uh, what qualifies. Or if there are any questions on that, certainly at the end, ask us. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the other improvements. Um, you can bundle some things into your installation. So if you want to do a programmable thermostat, for example, with your uh, boiler installation, you can. You can include that as part of the uh, um, financing option. And if there are any questions, what need, what we can finance or what we can't, let us know. Um, if we at AFC don't know, what we'll do is what we've done for our other programs. We go to the utility. So we will go to NICOR and ask them specifically, hey, um, you know, XYZ, uh, HVAC company wants to bundle this as part of their uh, boiler installation. Can we do it? We'll get word there. So if you have any questions on that, certainly feel free to ask us. So who can perform the work? As I said, you must be a trade uh, ally who's approved with AFC first. Um, what we look for in general is three years in business, um, a historic history of financial stability, et cetera or compensating factors. The biggest compensating factor and the question I get most often is, okay, if we haven't been in business three years, can we still apply? The answer is yes. What we're looking for is someone with history in the industry. So let's say you've opened up a business in the past six months, but you know, you've got 22 years in the industry as a tech, a salesperson, et cetera. Just write a you know two or three sentence thing, giving us a, a sentence writing your um, his, history in the industry 
and uh, you know we'll we'll take that into account when looking over your application. A satisfactory company and personal credit history. Um, there's a place on the application for your social security number. If you are a sole proprietor or a partnership, we do require it. Um, unfortunately, there is no way around that for a sole proprietor or partnership. If you're an LLC, a corporation, etc., you don't have to put your social security number and we won't pull your personal credit history. I can tell you it does speed things up because otherwise we've got to go look at uh, your trade references and your references you have listed, which sometimes can be slow. But again, if you don't feel comfortable and you are um, anything but a sole proprietor or a partnership, you don't have to do that. Of course, a satisfactory uh, BBB rating. Um, again, the, the references will look at trade references, supply house references, maybe something uh, you've worked with a manufacturer, we'll look at that. And then an overall reputation for high level of service and workmanship. And, and that we, um, you know, we'll, we'll hear from NICOR how you guys are doing. Uh, you know, sometimes we may hear from a, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, supply house, and, hey, I've been having problems with this guy. Um, you know, we this this rarely happens, but uh, you know, we, we do count on our partners to keep us informed. We had um, an installer in uh, the Amarin territory who was fudging rebate numbers. They were fine with us; they weren't doing that for the loan numbers. But Amarin asked if we would terminate that installer, and and we did. So. I mean, that doesn't happen to 99.9% .9 of guys, obviously. We, we trust you. Um, but if we hear otherwise, you know, we trust our allies as well on this. So one thing that we should have ready for you would be a ball, ballpark uh, figure chart that you'll be able to carry around um, in, in your pocket that breaks down to 4.99%. And um, it'll break it down a little bit more specifically. It usually goes by uh, every um, couple hundred dollars. Um, but this just goes to show you what it, um, in general, what's going to cost uh, for the uh, three, five, or ten-year term. Again, always, always, always quote the ten-year term. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, put that on every single one of your proposals. There, you can put it on a uh, with a sticker. This is going to be your monthly payment. Um, and I think you'll see your sales numbers in increase simply based upon that by offering a monthly payment. Um, uh, there are no closing costs or penalty for prepayment. The, the uh, customer must pay it off in full if they want to pay it off. There's no, uh, they can't add a little extra on every month to save on interest. That, that can't happen, but they can pay it off at any point. Um, on the right is the customer application. As you can see, you know, it takes 10, 15 minutes max to fill out. Pretty simple. And there are a couple of ways customers can apply. They can either apply on our uh, website at ilenergyloan.com. That's 24-7 by phone up until about uh, 10 or 11 o'clock at night at our uh, toll-free number. They can apply. By fax, we try to um, discourage faxes because they, uh, frankly, take a little bit longer to get to. Um, when, when you apply by phone or on ilenergyloan.com, it goes um, directly into our database uh, to be processed. Fax, we have to put that in separately. Um, you know, uh, it, it doesn't take us long, but it does take a little bit longer. And since turnaround time is important, you probably don't want to go that route. Um, or one thing that I highly recommend is a customized link that we can put on your website. Some of you may already have one on there um, for other programs, which is fine. Um, it, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what application in general that they use. We'll see what the program is for, where they live, and our underwriters will figure it out. A couple of reasons that I like or that I recommend putting it on your website. One. It's easy to remember your website address. I mean, ilenergyloan.com is not hard to remember, but your website address is easier to remember. Two, it's a, it's a sales opportunity, right? You can, and I, I look at any any sales opportunity as something good. By going, by driving them to your site, by driving traffic to your site, they're actually looking around and, and, and you know, maybe in their mind they'll see something on there that they'll like. You know, they'll want to add some bells and whistles, have some questions about other things. It's another sales opportunity. Three. Um, if they do it by your, if they fill out the uh, application on your website, you have a, you'll have a, a unique link to you that will always fill in your, your name, will fill in the contractor's name. Everything's doing the work. Most people fill it out. There's always the chance of forgetting if they um, uh, don't go that route, and um, you know the turnaround, it'll increase the turnaround time a little bit because we'll have not gotten back to you. And the fourth reason is when you refer someone to your website, they're only looking at your website. When you refer them to ilenergyloan.com, very easy for them to search and see who else might be in their area. And you know, 
while they're going to apply, they might think, hmm, I see there are 13 other, other contractors within a five-mile radius of me. Maybe, maybe I should go get other quotes. So the wheels might start turning, might start get them thinking if they go that route. So that's why I highly recommend something on your website. That's something that I can send out. It's uh, very easy to do. You must be approved with us um, first before I can send that out because we don't create the unique IDs in, until someone is approved with us. So basically the process in, in a nutshell uh, works from uh, beginning to end. So the customer typically will get the estimate from you or they don't even have to. They can apply without an estimate. If they want to apply for $20,000 or if they think um, the system might cost $5,000, they can apply for seven or $8,000 just to be safe. Um, anything to help speed up the process. If, if you're talking to them and they don't have an estimate yet and you talk to them, bring this up or if they bring up financing, Yes, they can apply without the estimate, but typically they'll get the estimate, they'll apply, as you see, it's an easy customer application. Fast approval will get you an answer pretty fast. It's not instant approval, um, but uh, uh, the advantage of instant approval, obviously, is you get an answer in the home. The disadvantage of instant approval is um, it, it's automated, so um, what we try to do is we try to make the loan. For example, if someone has... Uh, under instant approval, if there was someone with a really good credit score and a bad credit score um, or a lower credit score, uh, instant approval would turn that down. We would be, you know, our underwriters, you've got humans working on it, know enough to take the, you know, the bad credit score off, see if it'll run that way. Or if debt-to-income ratio, if they've got a good credit score but their debt-to-income ratio might be a little bit high, you know, we'll see if they have a spouse or someone that we can put on. So it's typically about an hour's time, maybe a little bit more depending upon the, um, you know, the volume that we have. So for every job, you guys will provide um, info for the job, and, and that the, the two things you'll want to send over to us for every job, and our underwriters are great to work with. They understand that, hey, this may be your first, second, third job. For every job, there will be a spec sheet that we'll send you or that you can make copies of and uh, a signed proposal with your customer. So those are the two things that we'll need with every job after we let you know that they've been approved. The spec sheet and your signed proposal with the customer. Um, you can fax them over to us, scan an email. Once we get those two things, what we'll do is we'll do the documents up in our office and we can either send those documents, the loan document, the right of rescission, their original application with us, etc. We can either send them to you or directly to the customer. I highly, highly, highly recommend um, that, that you request that we send them to you. That way you can oversee the process. People are good, but their uh, main main um, goal is to obviously get the install done, get warm, get whatever, and paperwork is not high on their agenda. Um, you know, you getting paid is obviously not as high on their agenda as it is on yours. So if you oversee the paperwork, there's a much better chance it will go smoothly at that point. You can fax all the paperwork back to us. We accept, we accept faxes on everything except for the original loan document. That we do need back in the mail. You can mail that to us. But I'd also fax that back, too, because one thing is we will not hold up payment. Sometimes mail can take long. I mean, I, as I always say, they call it snail mail for a reason. You know, it should be three days, but we have, we've had horror stories of, you know, six days, eight days getting back to us. Send us the fax of it, um, and obviously we realize that you've got the original copy at that point. Um, so we won't hold up payment. That gets back to us. You do the install. And the last thing, and, and I have a picture of it on, on a couple of screens coming up, uh, is the completion certificate. We require that back for every job. Um, and I will say, I'll make a point that if there are two, and we highlight it, if there are two signatures required on the completion certificate, we will need both signatures. We can't just uh, go with one. That happens sometimes when it holds up payment. You know, if, if both signatures are required, we need it. Once we get that back, we do a verbal audit. The customer says everything was done satisfactorily. With the 99.9% .9 of cases, if they sign the completion certificate, that's the case. Something may, may go down the next day or they um, you know, may re realize, hey, a lot of dirt was left around in my place. You know, after they sign that, that that's not right. Um, you know, those are really, really rare instances, but that's why we do a verbal audit. Um, and then once we get that, we'll pay you immediately. We pay you that day. As long as it's before about 3 o'clock Central Time, we will pay you uh, that day. And we can ACH it into your account. We've got ACH forms. I have them. Um, they are. They will be coming in your startup kit. Um, they'll eventually be with the, customer, the contractor application. So there are a bunch of ways to get, or the underwriter will offer it to you as well um, when, you're, when you're doing the job. So I, I'd recommend ACH because it goes directly into your account. 
Um, one quick word about the verbal audit. If you want to speed things up, you can tell your customer to call us, to call um, one of our underwriters uh, and let them know that everything's been done satisfactorily or an email works as well. So if you tell them to call, you don't have to. When we get all the paperwork back, we know to call them, but it will speed things up um, you know, on your end if you want to gain paid. Two simple forms, as I said, the spec sheet um, we'll send out to you, and, and that's the one sheet we re require for every job before we do the documents. As you can see, you know, it lists improvement, manufacturer, model, et cetera. It takes five minutes to fill out, easy to do. So before we do the docs up after the approval, it's the spec sheet we'll need and the sign, your sign proposal. Those are the two things. And then on the right is the completion certificate. As I, as I said, that will become your best friend because that is uh, what you get paid upon. And when we get that, we do the verbal audit. And then as long as we have all the other paperwork, uh, we know we're good to go. So that's just an idea of what it looks like. The completion certificate, you can't make copies of because we fill in the customer's name for everyone. The spec sheet, uh, you can if you want. So we'll have marketing materials and custom web links. I talked to you about the web links, the marketing materials. Uh, if you need something on that, let us know, but we'll send that out to you. Someone will. Um, and I recommend giving, I recommend dropping that off with every proposal, um, you know, so they can see what they're getting or what they may potentially look into getting. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have trade shows, that, that sort of thing, take, take it to them, obviously, as a handout. You know, we, we want you to hand these out. So let me know. Um, Jared King is also on. He, he's marketing with us. He will, um, you know, help get them out to you as well. Um, a couple others in our office. Let, let anyone know if you need them, and uh, we'll make sure to get them out to you. So uh, I, I talked about uh, in the beginning a little bit about our energy loan program, which is different than our um, Illinois Energy Efficiency Loan Program. It's different than the on-bill program. This is not on-bill. The rate is not nearly as good. It's the 12.9% rate versus the 4.9% rate. What this is good for is um, for something that may not qualify for the on-bill program. So, for example, as you can see, windows and doors. If you have a customer doing that, um, you, you know, uh, you can you can apply for an energy loan program. And one thing I want to say, we can we can do split loans if they have a lot of work being done and something qualifies under the um, Illinois programs. Certainly, obviously, you want to do uh, the, the installs that can under that program uh, because it's a better rate. But then we can do a separate loan as well for you know if you're if they're doing uh, windows and doors as well under that. Also, if um, if you're installing something, a let's say a boiler or a furnace doesn't meet the AFUE rating, um, it, you can use this program as well. O obviously, it's a win-win-win situation. If you try to push the higher efficiency, you know it, it's better. It's better for the it's better for the customer. They can get better rebates. They can get better financing. Um, also, you you'll make some more money in the process. They'll save better money. It's it's a win all around. But if for whatever reason you can't sell it to them, they don't want it. Uh, this is this is a nice backup program. That's what I look at it as, and they can they can uh, prepay on this one or pay it off at any point. Uh, no fee is to you um, if you go with our 12.9, but if you buy it down, you can see there there's a fee of um, lower cost to you on that. I'm not going to go over that in detail. Uh, a little bit about uh, financing now. Um, how how important I think it is to offer your customers and just just an idea of what's going on out there. So we call it the current perfect storm of energy crisis and credit contraction, making financing much more important than uh, it ever has been. And the numbers are about 70% of all home improvements, up to $15,000 are financed in one way or another, and then 9 out of 10 that are greater than $15,000 are financing. So as you can see, if you're not offering financing, you're, you're simply losing out. Um, you know, uh, customers sometimes may not bring it up. So if you don't bring it up, they don't bring it up and you don't get the job and wonder why, you know, they liked you, they liked your product, that very well may be a good reason. There may be a contractor, you know, another quote that's, that's offering it. You know, a lot of people will bring it up, but then, you know, there are some who, uh, you know, are maybe a little bit more old-fashioned and, and uh, think it might hurt their ego. You know, they may have a really good job, but they still need to be financed. And, um, you know, if you don't bring it up, they're not going to bring it up. And if that happens, they're not going to, uh, you know, get the uh, get the go through you for the job, but go for someone who uh, can offer the financing or who does offer the financing. And you know, there are two types of customers: there's the reactive and proactive. The reactive is okay. My furnace just went down. It's 26 degrees out, nine degree wind chill. I need a fix now. And there's the proactive, and that's a little bit more on the air and insulation, um, air sealing and insulation side. 
uh, someone who, you know, it's not an emergency, but they're looking to improve um, the envelope of their home, et cetera, you need to offer to both. The point is, offer to all of your customers, you know, reactive, proactive, you know, who you may think was wealthy, who you think may need the financing, offer everyone. Um, and offer all your programs to everyone. Again, we think the on-bill program is, is the best for the majority of people, but if you've got a 0% program, if you've got a program with a local bank, whatever, the more financing options you use, it's going to increase your sales. And as we always say, energy efficient improvements are most often sold, not bought. So the number one question for this is, can we afford it? Um, you know, in, in your eyes, you may think, boy, I've, I've got the uh, best equipment here or, you know, hey, I've, I've just given a real good sales presentation. They trust me. I'm a real good sales uh, guy or woman. Uh, you know, I, I do this. But, um, you know, through the customer's eyes, their first thought is can we afford it? I mean, they're, they're often not looking at, uh, you know, what the best product is because they're, you know, you may be selling this type of system. Someone else is selling something else and then someone else is using another line and everyone's saying it's, it's the best line, you, you know. How does the customer know? So eventually how they break it down, one of the big things is, is can, can we afford that system? And you, you may be offering the best furnace out there, but if they can't afford it, that doesn't matter as much to them. So as, I, as I've said, no matter what you're buying, with, you know, TV, house, you know, dining room table, whatever, um, the question is, can we afford it? And of all those things I just mentioned, think about it. There are financing options for uh, pretty much all that I just mentioned, and uh, it should be no different in this industry. So the numbers don't add up. The average American homeowner's got three to seven thousand dollars of a disposable cash. That same uh, American homeowner has the uh, average of eighty-two hundred dollars worth of debt. Easy to do the math on that. It doesn't add up. So, so where are they getting the money for your installation? Again, financing and and obviously rebates help as well. That's the important to uh, the importance of offering a monthly payment. One reason we call uh, what we do is a twilight zone. If you think about it, most installs are probably going to run you in the five to ten thousand range or four to eight thousand range, whatever. But that is sort of like the credit twilight zone because it's too much to put on a credit card. Okay, you know, if they put on their credit card and they can't pay it off, you know, you know within a couple, you know, right away, there's going to be high, high interest. You know, credit cards or whatever, fourteen percent, eighteen, twenty percent. You, you know, the rates on credit cards sometimes higher. And it doesn't make sense if you get a 4.99% loan out there that can be paid off at any point. Again, and same thing with 0%. 0% is good for um, the people who can pay it off in the six months or a year. They can't. It's not good for them. The rates uh, you know, are retroactive on the original balance for interest, and they're up to like 26%, 29%. And on the other hand, um, the, the installs are a little bit too small in most cases for a home equity loan. You know, A lot of people don't want to lean on their home. The thing is, too, it's time sensitive. I mean, if if someone's really, you know, it goes down today, it's cold. They're not they're not going to wait the weeks or sometimes months that it takes to get a home equity loan. Um, and even if they think they can get a better rate on a home equity loan, you know, well, hey, I, I'm going to get a home equity loan in a couple of months here. Go with our loan in the meantime. You can pre, you, you know, a lot of times uh, the home equity loans don't come through for whatever reason, or they take longer. You know, go with our loan in the meantime. Uh, you know, and pay it off if you think you're going to get a home equity loan. But the fact of the matter is, right where we are in the twilight zone, programs like this, the, the six monthly payments, are the way to go. Um, the other thing, again, I can't emphasize enough, promotional and teaser rates are good for some people, but again, obviously they cost you money to use. You know, there is a discount to you, whether it's 4%, 5%, 8%. Our programs do not cost you money. That's, that's huge, okay? So you don't have to turn around and somehow uh, add the cost, you know, make up for it. Um, so you're able to offer a lower pay, um, a lower total to the customers, which some people may not be able to offer. Um, so again, the affordability is the option. I think I've spoken to that enough. Um, you know, just 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 a personal tip. Okay, so ask yourself what your closing ratio is. Is it 40 percent? Is it 80 percent? No one has a 100 percent closing ratio. And and ask yourself why that is. Is, is it your reputation? Is it, uh, do you have a uh, salesperson out there who's not doing the job? You know, do they come across as not trustworthy? Is it the price? Is your, is your, are you simply uh, giving a higher price out um, than other people are? You know, are, are, you not, are you not offering financing or are you offering gimmick financing? You know, all these things you have to ask. A lot of times, more often than not, it can be that you're not offering what we say is an affordable monthly payment out there for the customer. I mean, that that is huge. It's it's huge to them. You, you know, you can you can be the best salesperson out there, 
Um, you can offer the best product out there, but uh, if they can't afford it um, or don't have a good means of affording it, they're not they're not going to buy it. So we always say, ask yourself, you know, what what can you do to uh, improve your closing rate? Um, this is probably my favorite screen. Uh, you know, we always ask which home you'd offer financing to. The answer is both. Never, ever, ever, ever discriminate. Do, do not discriminate who you offer it to. Oftentimes, the people in the million dollar homes on the left are living on credit cards. Um, their debt may be getting up there. And sometimes, as I always say, the person on the right may pull out $6,000 from under their mattress and surprise you. Offer it to everyone. You know, the people sometimes who live on the home on the left, they need financing. But as I said, it may, you know, some of them may be old fashioned and, and a good number of them will ask for financing, but a good number of them may not. You know, it may hurt their ego. Hey, they're an attorney living in a nice home. Um, why, you know, and they may be afraid to, to ask for financing, but if you offer it, that uh, obviously uh, makes them feel more comfortable. The other thing is, too, with a 4.99% rate, you know, even on a home on the left, you can go, okay, well, they can afford it. You know, at a 4.99% rate, they may have investments out there that are higher than that. You know, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to do in this uh, this time right now, but they may. And they may so, therefore, you know, if they've got investments are higher, the yield is better for them even going with the 4.99 program. So the question, so the, the point is, offer it to everyone. You, you never know who may take it. And as we say, put it on every proposal. Have a little sticker that says, here's your monthly payment, something like that. We can get stickers out to you that say that if you want. Put it on every proposal. Again, think of my cell phone example, how much better it sounds that, okay, hey, you're going to be paying $100 a month, up, you know, rather than, okay, over the cost of, uh, over the course of 10 years, you're going to be paying $12,000 for this little cell phone that goes in your pocket. So there is, there is a uh, psychological difference. And then my uh, last slide here, to just keep in mind, and I'm sure most of you do this pretty good, but, but every proposal is like opening night on Broadway, we say. Um, you know, we all can, we, none of us are perfect. We all have our bad days, but obviously do your best to make a good first impression. You know, um, I can't emphasize enough, one of the things in sales that you learn is that people buy from people that they like or trust. You know, most people don't have an engineering mind. They're getting four different quotes, and everyone is saying that their system's the best, that their install team's the best. You know, that that they can offer. The, you know, it's all. It, it may all be 92% gas furnaces they're offering, but everyone is telling you why theirs is going to be a little bit more efficient, why they install it better, um, why their furnace is better. A lot, a lot of people don't like. A lot of people don't think that way. Um, th those are what I say are engineering minds. Um, some people may do research on it, but but people are going to buy from whom they trust. Go out there, be trustworthy, you know, come across as professional. Um, you know, my boss always says about uh, someone, this was years ago, who was giving proposals on napkins. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't, you, none of you do that, but come across as professional. I mean, that is an impression, and it's not a good, good impression. You know, offer all the financing options available. You know, uh, that, that is, it's, it's uh, people are, Looking for um, you know more close out there. Obviously, money money is tighter than it than it probably has been in a while. Um, you know the past couple of years. So leave a good first impression. Do the best you can on that. Um, there's my contact information. Uh, Tessa Shin, you probably won't be contacting her, but she's behind the scenes on this program working on it. Um, and that that's her contact information. My contact information is there. Feel free to give me a call or email at any time. I'll get back to you sometimes. It may take a couple of hours. I'm on the road quite a bit. I am based in Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania, but I'm out in Illinois at least once a month. I will be out there. I'm, I'm setting up already for the first week, uh, the first full week in uh, the new year, I think. So the 6th through the 10th, that is. Uh, I may be out there the following week as well. I'm looking at talking to... Um, a supply house out there is requesting me for a couple of days. It's looking like, but give me give me a heads up, and I can try to meet with you or your staff. I can stop by your office. If you want to meet for coffee or lunch, I'm happy to do that too. Anything we can do to help you increase your sales, um, again, call, email anytime. Anything in person, I'm happy to do. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Katrina um, from Nightcore. We've got uh, one or two more slides, and then we'll take your questions after that. Thank you so much, Bob. Um, we want to encourage you as trade allies and contractors to initiate that conversation with your customers about rebates and the energy efficiency loans. They really are hand in hand. Uh, the rebate process is the same, so remind your customer to take advantage of that instant discount. 
Um, an interesting statistic that we learned from a neighboring Illinois utility is that only 50% of on-bill financing participants took advantage of the rebates. So that means 50% of participants left money on the table. So we want our customers to be well educated to make informed energy savings decisions and we want you guys to feel prepared to offer the program. I mean, you guys really will be a key role to a significant amount of program participation and we are really excited to work with you. Just want to remind everyone that a recorded version of our webinars will be available at www.nicorgasrebates.com. Uh, you can view and listen on your own time if you like. So thank you so much. If you have further questions about the Energy Efficiency Loan Program, feel free to contact me. Uh, the contact information is on your screen. You can jot it down. Um, and so now we'll open it up for questions from Bob. Feel free to type them in your chat box and we will get to as many questions as we can. Thanks. Anyway, so I'll go from the questions at the beginning here. The first one, can we bundle duct sealing with, pro with a product such as AeroSeal into the job cost? Um, Janet's not on the phone. Katrina, do you want to take that one? Would you I, mind I, repeating I, I, the question? Sure, no problem. Um, Pat uh, Hudgens asked, can we bundle duct sealing with a product such as AeroSeal into the job cost? I, I, I can say from Aaron, I think that would be okay, but that would be something, you know, that... Uh... Why don't we go ahead and check on that? I was made aware that we're not able to do that, not at, you know, not at this time, but let me look into that. That's a great question. Yeah, good question, Pat. So. Uh, we will get back to you on that and let you know for sure. Uh, another question that Pat asked and was answered by Jared, but uh, it's a good question. So um, if you're already signed up for ComEd, you have to sign up for the NICOR loan program. No. If you're signed up with us for any of our programs, ComEd, Peoples, North Shore, Ameren, some of some of you may be on the Ameren line, our regular energy loan, you're good to go. You don't need to sign up with us again. If you're not sure, I can uh, check with you on that. Uh, Nancy asked a question, uh, so they cannot put their air conditioner on the NICOR program. No, the air conditioner must go, uh, not NI NICOR's gas, uh, the, air, the air conditioner must go on the ComEd bill. So, so that's a good question. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So we do, NICOR gas does have a partnership right now with ComEd. Um, so we have the complete system replacement and a customer is able to bundle an AC, a qualifying AC with a qualifying furnace. So from a customer perspective, a customer will have one loan, one application for any commodity, meaning ComEd or NICOR gas, and for every qualifying measure in their home. So it's really easy, one-stop shop for the customer. They just need only apply one time. Thanks, Katrina. Um, Nancy asked another question, um, and, and Jared, I think, answered uh, for the group. Can you share this presentation with me? Absolutely. Anyone who needs it, uh, let us know, and we will send that on out to you. Um, another one, Kevin asked, will PDF the slide be available? Yep. Uh, Pat asked the question, again, about the air seal. We're going to get back to that. Um, and David asked the question, uh, is two-part form approved for the insulation financing. Um, oh, two-part foam, sorry. Uh, that would be another question for NICOR. Um, he had really a follow-up question to that right below. What they say. Oh, David did? Yeah, uh, he said okay, more, more specifically. specifically straight foam roof insulation. Is this an approved measure? Uh, Katrina, do you want to answer that one? One more time on that. I'm typing up the questions as I go here. No problem. Uh, spray foam roof insulation. Is that an approved install measure? Is that something that NICOR is going to use? Mike will go ahead and jump in on that one. Um, as a part of like a banjoice uh, insulation, yes, that would, that would be an approved measure. Um, if you want to do attic insulation on that, we'd have to look at that and verify it later on. Uh, and, and we'll have to get back to you on that, that question. Okay, the next one, um, 
Uh, Peter asked, does personal credit score disqualify your application? Um, I'm not sure if you're talking about the customer application or the contractor application, so I'll answer to both. Yes, if someone's credit score is below a 640, unfortunately, that does disqualify them for the program. There, there are no way around that guidelines. Um, if you're talking about your personal credit score for uh, the contractor application, the only reason we need to take, if your personal credit score, and I'm talking to the group here, um, if your personal credit score is not the best, and if you are not a partnership or LLC, do not put your personal credit score. It can disqualify you. What we'll do is at that point go to your trade references. If you are a sole proprietor or partnership, unfortunately, we must take a look at your personal credit score. And if it is, if it's uh, under certain guidelines, yes, it does unfortunately disqualify your application. But again, unless you're a sole proprietor or a partnership, you do not have to put that. Um, someone said, if a customer wants to purchase a full system and has NICOR but doesn't have ComEd, can they still qualify for this financing program? Carol, very good question. Uh, yes, they can. They can put the uh, furnace part on our program and they'll have to pay for the air conditioner another way. Obviously, if you're under ComEd, they've got the on-bill program as well, 4.99%. If they're not under ComEd, uh, they can use our energy loan program. Um, you know, which is a good recommendation. Um, they can use, you know, if they have a home equity loan, cash, whatever, but they cannot put the um, air conditioning part on the NICOR bill. Good question, Carol. Thanks. Uh, let's see here. Next one I've got, uh, can we bundle uh, thermostats into the financing? Yes, that is one thing that I do know is allowable. We can, we can bundle the thermostats uh, into the financing. Um, let me see if there are any other questions. Uh, that looks like the last question that came up. Are there any other questions? Um, if not, we'll wait a couple seconds here and then end the uh, webinar. Again, you know, questions, feel free to contact uh, myself, uh, Katrina, or Aaron if you have any further questions. Um, at this point, Katrina, do you want to end it? Do you think uh, a good time to end? Yes, thank you so much, everyone, for attending. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you. Bye. Take care, everybody.